do the universal curette, we're going to start on the distal surface. So what you want to do first is point your toe back toward the distal and then apply the secondary blade to the distal line angle and make sure the terminal shank is in a fairly upright position. And then you're going to start little overlapping up and down rocking strokes using your wrist and arm. As you do this, you're going to pivot around to the distal surface until you get halfway to the distal coal area. And then you stop. Take it out. Bring the toe so it's coming toward the mesial. Raise your hand high on your fulcrum finger. And then little overlapping strokes. These are going to be oblique strokes. And you're rocking up and down sideways on your wrist and fulcrum finger. Finally, all the way into the mesial and then up and down strokes or vertical strokes in the mesial area. Okay, universal curette on the distal surface. Your fulcrum is across the uh, left side anteriors and your toe is pointing toward the distal. You're on your secondary blade and you're rocking up and down. Little overlapping strokes and pivoting into the distal area. Bring it out, reestablish your fulcrum closer to your working area, raise it up toward the upper teeth so you're nice and parallel, and then initiate oblique rocking strokes, turning as you come around the mesial line angle, not dropping your handle but staying up parallel so the secondary blade stays closed. Okay, so your fulcrum is going to be on the lingual occlusal and you're going to reach back with your secondary blade and be sure to raise your handle up a little so you close the blade. Initiate little up and down rocking strokes and then pivot toward yourself so that you bring the instrument into the distal interproximal area. Take it out, turn it so it's facing toward the mesial. Establish an extra oral fulcrum. And at this point, you're going to be using a little pull stroke. So each stroke, you're pulling and turning, pulling and turning, and go all the way to the mesial area. Distal surface in number three. You're going to raise your handle slightly, use your secondary blade, and then little tiny up and down rocking strokes and pivot to come around into the inner proximal coal area of the distal. Take it out, turn it around, put your fingers in an extra oral fulcrum on the angle of the mandible and now you're initiating little pulling strokes and you're rolling and pivoting to bring it around that mesial line angle. Okay, we're going to do the universal curette in the anterior. I'm going to do surfaces toward me. So you start in the middle of the tooth, put the leading third against the tooth surface, and initiate little sideways rocking strokes. And as you're rocking back and forth, you're going to be pivoting and rolling so you keep the leading third adapted against the tooth. You go halfway, and then you stop. Same with the next tooth, start in the middle of the tooth, rock sideways, turn, sideways, turn, sideways.